Hello everybody, in this video I will talk about LED carbon battery because I get really good amount of requests and people ask me if I can make this video about LED carbon battery. Uh, so before I start this video I can tell you that if you search for some information about this type of battery on internet you will get a lot of informations but anyway I will make this video so what is lead carbon battery so lead carbon battery is some modified version of lead acid battery in basic the only difference between lead carbon and lead acid battery uh, is on the negative electrode so uh, the lead carbon battery use some um, carbon based material on the negative electrode so the carbon based material together with uh, lead powder uh, you will get this modified version of lead acid battery the lead acid battery uh, have lead oxide for the positive active material uh, which is put on some uh, lead grid. Lead grid is the current collector and the negative electrode is made from uh, lead powder. Also put it on some lead grid. Then we also have some separator and the electrolyte. The electrolyte is sulfuric acid uh, and that's it. This is the design of lead acid battery. But the lead carbon battery have the same positive active material, which is lead dioxide. And uh, the negative electrode in this one is made from lead powder and also with some uh, carbon based material put it on some lead grid. Uh, the electrolyte is the same, sulfuric acid, and that's it. With this small change on this type of battery, you will get a really, really good amount of cycles. So uh, the normal lead acid battery is rated to have the cycles uh, around 300 to 500 cycles. Uh, the lead carbon battery uh, have from uh, 5000 to over 10,000 cycles or even more. So to make the negative electrode uh, of lead carbon battery you need to use some carbon based material. So what is this carbon based material? Uh, carbon based materials which you can use are graphite, carbon black or activated carbon. Of course you can also use some carbon nanotubes or some graphene or something like this. But graphite, carbon black and activated carbon are more cheaper like uh, carbon nanotubes or graphene. So that's why I think that the best way to make the negative electrode of this type of battery if you use graphite, carbon black or activated carbon. So the graphite, if you use graphite to make this electrode, uh, it's good, but it's not the best. I mean, you will get a really good uh, number of cycles, but with some different carbons, you will get better performance and also cycles so if you use graphite like i said it's not the best but it's really really good uh, the next material is carbon black carbon black is also really really awesome because it's really good conductive and also have some good surface area Uh, and the third material is activated carbon. If you have at home some 
uh, good activated carbon which have a really good surface area and also is really good conductive then you need to use this activated carbon so with activated carbon you will get the best performance uh, if your activated carbon is not uh, conductive enough you can add a little bit of, of carbon black or graphite to increase the conductivity of your material and now the design of negative uh, electrode of this type of battery I mean you have a lot of uh, designs how to how to create this type of electrode so here I have some samples uh, this this design belongs to uh, ultra battery and yeah so this design is on the middle you have some current collector which is made from lead grid then you have some uh, lead powder which is some normal uh, active material of uh, lead acid batteries uh, which are covered in some carbon based material the second design of this negative electrode is of course this so again we have uh, the current collector which is made from lead grid and the active material on this one is some mix of uh, lead powder and carbon in our case activated carbon so you mix it together activated carbon and lead powder add some binder and put it on this lead grid and this design is also really really good and the third design is this in this one we change the current collector instead of uh, using lead lead grid we use some carbon current collector and on this uh, carbon current collector we add some lead powder so i don't make this test because i search on internet uh, i read a lot of research paper papers about uh, this lead carbon battery and that's what I found in my research but today I will be focused on this design so here I have the negative electrode uh, of lead acid battery so in basic it's lead uh, lead current collector I mean lead grid current collector uh, and the active material is uh, lead powder so to modify this type of electrode you simply make a ink from uh, <clears throat> activated carbon and paint it the entire surface uh, you see that you can modify it, uh, a lead acid battery really really easy you just put some uh, carbon based material to the negative electrode and you will increase the performance so in this case you will increase uh, you will increase the cycle life and also the charging speed of this battery right here I have the lead acid battery uh, the design of this battery is of course the positive electrode uh, is ma made from uh, lead dioxide uh, some separator uh, four mole of uh, sulfuric acid and uh, the negative electrode is same like this one so uh, the negative electrode is made from uh, from 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 uh, lead uh, powder and the current collectors on both uh, electrodes are made from lead grid so in basic what I do right now I charge this battery and this battery I charge right now uh, two hours one hour two hours something like this and yeah I can tell you that this battery needs um, a really really long charge 
So right now I still have 160 milliamps, uh, but I think I will disconnect this battery. I will put on the, on the electronic cloud and I will see what I will get out from this battery. And here I have uh, the electronic load which is set on uh, 16 milliamps of dis discharging current and let's go. Ah, come on. So because the battery is not fully charged, uh, the voltage drop is a little bit high. Also, the lead acid battery, uh, I mean, don't discharge the lead acid battery uh, too deep because you will damage the cell. So I will leave it like this and I will see what energy I will get out from this one. Uh, and then we will modify this type of battery. And that's it. So on this one I get 11 milli milliwatt hours. So here is this lead acid battery. If you make this type of battery, use gloves because sulfuric acid can be really, really dangerous. So this is the positive electrode and this is the negative electrode. Yeah, I already have some carbon because I have carbon over here. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I will separate this electrode and yeah, to comparison, you see that I tried to make uh, two really similar uh, electrodes uh, before I start to shoot this video uh, I was thinking that I need to try this conductive ink so this conductive ink uh, is this ink which we make and which I use in some heater projects and so on. So this will be my carbon source and I will use this design. And that's it. So I will leave it this that this one will be dry. Uh, and this yes. The electrode is finished. Uh, is fully dry. And now first I will change also this separator. with new one and I will add 4 mole of sulfuric acid
so use protection, please. I need to wait that the electrolyte will soak in. Okay. And that's it. At this point I hit 160 milliamps and I will disconnect from my power supply and I will start with electronic load. So again uh, the cell was not fully charged like lead acid uh, battery before and right now I discharge this cell and this is the end of discharging so I also tested uh, this one with our conductive ink uh, and yeah on this one I get 13 milliwatt hours uh, on lead acid battery was 11 milliwatt hours the run time was uh, 6 minutes and 33 seconds this one have 7 minutes and 37 seconds so guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.